what is going on everybody welcome to your 13th bootstrap tutorial i'm mehul and in this tutorial we'll be um i guess we'll be hooking up with some javascript api to read file on the client side itself and display a nice little image so let's get started now first of all let's just quickly style this boy up a little bit and just give it an ID of oh no this one this one ID of or you can just name it file and right here input name equals file and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab an image from internet right there you see I got this from somewhere and I'm just gonna set some width and some height and a background of this image right there you see uh, let's just check this out looks extremely bad I don't have words for that but never mind and I guess I can't hide this button while I'm using this image as a background so we need to do something else let's just name it div dot upload button and let's just throw it inside a upload button make sure you don't have that already in use all right all right all right okay oh wrong button that's kind of strange because i'm feeling sleepy and you know i'm just not paying 100 percent attention but don't worry i won't teach anything wrong <laughs> all right so now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hide this button and just width should be 100% of its parent height as well and why not just absolute this boy and where are the quotes the quotes should always be there and this upload button it needs a kind of tuning first of all give it a position of relatives so the file button doesn't just go in crazy dimensions and then I need a background size 100% looks good at a height of I guess perfect yep so we have got the dimensions ready and here you go so now we have this upload button why not just throw a cursor as well at that here you go and here you go what the heck Whoa, that's range. So let's just opacity it to zero and cursor pointer as well. My bad. All right. Okay, so now the next thing we need to do is we need to work with JavaScript and whenever the user selects a image file then what I want to do is I want to display a small little you know the view of what he's or she's uploading here right here in the center and to do that we can make use of JavaScript so let's get started now I'm just gonna add a script here only because I'm too lazy to do anything else 
and I guess I need to add it here after the loading of jQuery okay so what I want to do is I want when the document is ready which obviously is by now but why take a chance I want whenever this file oh we don't have any ID for this too bad there you go bro you got an ID file whenever this is changed I want to kind of console log this because actually I don't know what I'm doing so let's just give it a try let's just try this image and where's the console well that isn't very helpful what I would prefer is this dot files okay so that's interesting alright so we have got all of this information right here and what I want to do is I want to make use of a file reader now what is a file reader a file reader is basically a JavaScript object and this would allow you to read your image file binary by binary and this would help you to convert your image into a base64 image which would be then displayed on your web page without uploading without being uploaded to a server so this is our file reader and since this is an asynchronous we need to add a function and this function would accept your image or whatever you want to call that now I want somewhere to receive this image so what I'm gonna do is I am just gonna say that uh, diff class image uploaded or not here's a display of your image and this is img src blank dude id blank img for now and that's pretty much it it's because we are going to populate this src from here so whenever this reader is loaded I want first of all this to be visible instantaneously I just don't want any fix right now so just display on this right now and the next thing I want to do is I want this boy to have an attribute of src and what the src should be sorry this should be the target dot result okay and finally I want reader dot read as data URL and what I want to read obviously I would like to read file dot files and remember that since we are already working with file we can just make use of this so this dot files and since I have only one kind of uh, you know option to upload only one image at a time so I just can make use of this so let's take a look how that works and debug any errors if found okay so looks pretty good but obviously is it the best because a larger image would overflow with the dimensions you can just load this one 
so seems good but not the best so we'll be fixing this up again in the next tutorial so for this tutorial that's it and don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching